Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. It is super early in the morning, super early for me. It's like, let me check the time actually. Get my phone out. Got it, okay, here we go. 10.02, but I did get up today at like 8.20, which for me on a Sunday is just not my ideal time to wake up on a Sunday, we'll say that. But I'm really, really happy to be here. I've actually never been here before. Definitely found that during this time, I've been more inclined to like explore Toronto more and try and find places in my own city that I've never been. Definitely recognize that I'm in a very fortunate position to be able to have the time and energy to do those things but it's definitely been a really nice perk of being home yeah anyway at this park today here it is behind me lovely and green and lush I thought along with showing you around the park I'd also do a little Q&A because I haven't done one of those in a while I haven't vlogged in a while and I did an arm workout yesterday but my arms are really hurting, so I'm gonna have to like switch which arm I'm holding the camera with. By the way, I asked you guys for questions on my Instagram, so if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I'll put a link somewhere, probably down below. It's like in the bottom of all of my videos. That's the best place to follow me if you wanna be included on the next Q&A. Here we go, let's start with the questions. Really diving right in from Michael Bailing. What's your favorite type of milk? Um, my favorite type of milk is oat milk. Off to an intriguing start. Oat milk is definitely my preferred milk of choice and my cereal, and then almond milk for like in my coffee. Sometimes I'll even do a splash of 2% in my coffee. Depending on where you're watching this from, that'll either sound insane to you or perfectly fine. I don't have like a ton of dairy in my diet just because I find like it doesn't make me feel the best, but I'm also human and I love cheese. So it is what it is. Okay, we're gonna keep walking here. I'm actually gonna ask my mom who's right in front of me because she knows all the deets about this park. But can you give us a little background on the park? I won't have you on camera, don't worry. Why are there all these beautiful full like old parts of old buildings everywhere. Essentially, as my mom has explained it to me, when classical architecture was out and super modern sleek architecture was in, they demolished a bunch of old beautiful buildings in the city of Toronto. This was before the Heritage Act came into play, which came into play one month, 1975. So this couple, Rosa and Spencer Clark, made it their mission essentially to preserve parts of these buildings. And so as we walk around the park, you'll see that there's just columns or or archways from old banks. So this was actually a part of the Toronto Imperial Bank. Isn't that crazy? My tripod is like balancing for dear life, but let's try and quickly do another question. What college did you go to? So I actually went to the University of Toronto or more commonly referred to as UFT. I was in Victoria College. So essentially UFT is broken up into like a bunch of colleges. Victoria College is the best one. It's the same college that like Margaret Atwood went to, which if you watch The Handmaid's Tale, she wrote that book. So we got some pretty uh, fun alumni there. But yeah, you have team. fountain over here. There's also a lot of people here, so apologies in advance for a lot of yelling and talking, but people are out enjoying themselves at a socially responsible distance. I didn't expect to be doing so much squatting in this video. All right, let's find another question here. What was your all-time favorite place to visit in Australia? Oh, I hate favorites questions. I'm so bad at answering them. If you didn't know, I was in Australia at the beginning of March. I got home like right before all this COVID stuff happens. I was in Melbourne and Sydney. I can't say my favorite place because I really loved Australia and there were a lot of places I really enjoyed. My mom's sneaking up on me here. If I had to choose one, I really, really loved Bondi Beach. We also really lucked out and had one of the most amazing Airbnbs I have ever stayed in that looked over like all of the beach. Might have to go with that. I really genuinely loved everything and I cannot wait to go back. Actually, one of the other questions was, did I enjoy Melbourne and could I see myself living there? The answer is I love Melbourne and I could absolutely see myself living there. It's actually very similar to Toronto. However, Australia is just really far from everything. So would I love to live there? Absolutely. But I feel like I would just never see my family or friends. If I ever got like the opportunity to work out there or just spend an extended period of time out there, that would be awesome. There you go. Oh my God. Guys, this video is like a workout. Let me unsquat. Ooh. A little photo shoot happening over here. There's not a lot of spots in Toronto that have that old world feel. This is definitely one of them. I'm gonna demonstrate to you the, the size of this monument. It's really, really big. Dun, 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 dun. I think this would be a nice spot to do our next question. <laughs> Dogs or cats? 
dogs a thousand times over. I'm sorry to all the cat lovers, not a big cat person. The only cat I like is Chelsea's cat Moose, and that's that. What camera do you use to record your YouTube videos? Um, I don't know if I've actually ever mentioned this before, but I use the Canon G7X Mark II. I know they just released a Mark III, which I'm very tempted to get, but I haven't done enough research about like if there are enough differences to justify upgrading. I do want to upgrade to a camera that has better audio. This camera is really good for vlogging, but obviously does not have the best sound quality. So if there are any cameras that are lightweight that have like interchangeable lenses with a mic output that you would recommend Please leave them down below because I definitely want to invest in one of those in the near future But in terms of right now, it's all on the G7X Mark II, which I feel like is the most basic YouTube camera out there Next question, thoughts on astrology. Dad, what are your thoughts on astrology? Astrology is a good thing. Do you know what your sign is, Dad? Some people say I'm Scorpion. Others say I'm a... What's Scorpion? You're Leo. Leo. But you said that I was end of August to September. Oh, because you're on the cusp. Yeah. That would be Virgo. Oh, Virgo. Okay, sorry. So your thoughts on astrology are that you don't know a whole lot about it. I don't know. <laughs> My thoughts on astrology are that it's fun. I dabble. I'm a Pisces. Good for you. So what is Pisces? Pisces is the it's a water sign. It's the fish. We're very creative, emotional, indecisive. Does that sound like me? The last time I remember you a human being, what are you talking about fish here? <laughs> okay, that's enough about astrology, I think. Oh. Excuse the uh, screaming children in advance. Next question, must visit place in Canada I really want to visit. Please come visit. Canada's the best. I mean, I'm a little biased, but obviously Toronto. If you're more of a nature person, I would say Banff is really beautiful and Vancouver is really beautiful. I actually have never been on the east coast of Canada. It's something that hopefully I will be doing very soon. But isn't it always the case that you never really explore where you live? I'd say for cities, if you want like a really metropolitan experience, Toronto, if you want a slight more maybe like European experience Montreal is really beautiful Quebec City is also really beautiful haven't been I actually haven't ever been to Quebec City but Montreal is really lovely amazing pastries which like croissants right I actually went to Vancouver for the first time last year and I have a vlog about that too so if you're considering going have a little look see if it's for you it probably is it's really nice there I feel like I just listed like five different places but it really depends on like what sort of travel vibe you're into this we've discovered is the fireplace of Frederick Banting who is the man that discovered insulin now this poor man's fireplace is covered in birdseed this is from 1917 nice found this little uh hut <laughs> what inspired you to start baking so much i would say just the fact that um my mom is an amazing cook but she just doesn't really bake a lot and i like baked goods so i was like my mom's not gonna make them for me i just gotta learn how to make them myself what ideas do you have for reform for the institutional oppression in the u.s how much time do you have i think a great place to start would be with defunding the police and if you don't know what that means then i highly recommend you do some research because it's pretty insane a what police budgets are at all and how low pretty much all other social service budgets are so education health care that's all i'll say on that topic it's definitely like a much broader conversation and there's a lot of really useful information right now going around on social media so highly recommend you guys do some research i think it's going to take a very 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 long time for there to be significant change but you have to start somewhere and just because it's a long and overwhelming process doesn't mean we shouldn't start that process uh i also think there needs to be a complete overhaul of the prison system and much better measures in place for the rehabilitation of people that have served their time and come out of 
the prison because I'll let you in on a little secret. If you've served your time and you're trying to turn your life around, they don't make it very easy for you. There are definitely great organizations like Homeboy Industries, which I've talked about on my channel before, which essentially helps to reintegrate people back into society after they've served time in prison, all sorts of things. It's an absolutely incredible organization. They've got a bakery and cafe you can actually go and visit in LA, which probably won't be open right now, obviously. They also typically have a stand at the Studio City Farmer's Market, but that's a really simple and tangible way that you can help make a change is by supporting businesses that support marginalized and oppressed groups. Buy a scone or a loaf of bread at a farmer's market and you're already helping to make a difference. Not all changes and not all contributions have to be big changes and big contributions. If you're starting small, at least you're starting. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. There's a ton of information available right now on all of these things. Who was your celebrity crush in middle school? Mom, do you remember who my celebrity crush was in middle school? Who? Orlando Bloom. That's right. I was obsessed with Orlando Bloom. Now, Mr. Katy Perry. My feelings for Orlando were, it was pretty serious for me as a 12 year old. What a time. Another question I got was what recipe have I tried but failed? Macarons. Macarons? Macarons? Like the French macar- I think- let me try this again. French macarons. Granted, it was a long time ago and maybe I'd like to think my baking skills have improved since then. Might give them another shot. Might be a fun video to make because I guess if I fail it'll be funny. We'll see. Let me know if you want to see that. They're very fickle. Meringue is not the easiest thing to deal with. They're delicious though. I mean, it would be nice to learn how to make them. A lot of you guys were also asking about my veganism, which um, I'm not a vegan. <laughs> I think because I eat a lot of plant-based and try to stay away from certain foods, people have just like assumed that I'm vegan, but I'm not. Still love cheese, still have meat once in a while, especially when I'm home right now in the summer. My dad is like the world's best barbecuer, so definitely having more meat than I normally would. And then in LA, it's just so easy to eat plant-based. There's so many good alternatives, so many great vegan restaurants. It's pretty good in Toronto as well, but like I said, dad's barbecue can't be beat. So that is the answer to that question. Mom, my next question is would I ever want to film a video with Tabitha Brown? My mom and I love, love Tabitha Brown. I really hope I get to meet her one day. Right, mom? Yes, hopefully. Tabitha, if you happen to see this video, please collab with me. Two quick fire ones. Number one, pasta or pizza? Pizza. Number two, a lake house or beach house? I would prefer a beach house, but my only option in Toronto is a lake house because there's no ocean. But in the perfect world, beach house because I love being by the ocean. Next question is what is my favorite all-American couple? It's a hard one. Honestly, probably Patience and Coop. <laughs> Those two are ride or dies. Do you speak fluent Russian? I can't remember if I answered this in my first Q&A, but yes I do. Some of you asked me to say something, so this is me speaking Russian. Привет всем! Я сегодня гуляю в парке с семьей. Очень классно, нам всем очень нравится. Я всем очень рекомендую. Если вы в Торонто, обязательно посетите. Я не знаю, что сказать. У нас сегодня прекрасная погода, 30 градусов, солнышко. В общем, все в шоколаде. И, ну вот, я говорю по-русски. And that's been the Russian segment of this video. <laughs> I also got a lot of questions from you guys about season three of All American. I really don't have a lot of information. I pretty much know everything that you guys know, which is that we are scheduled to go back on air in January of 2021. Hopefully we will start shooting very soon. Obviously very difficult with COVID-19. Production wants to make sure that everyone is staying safe. So yeah, we're really excited to make a season three for you guys. Thank you so much as always for all of the amazing support. That's all I have to say about that. Very excited to get back to work. I miss everyone dearly. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little park Q&A. We're very lucky here in Toronto that our parks have started to open up and the weather is warming up and you can actually be outside. It's not freezing cold. There's no <laughs> snowstorms. We've actually had like a few weeks of beautiful like 30 plus degree weather. Enjoying all the outdoor time I can and I highly encourage you to do the same at a responsibly safe social distance. It's around 11 a.m. now. I think we're gonna head back home, have some breakfast. I will probably be taking a nap because like I said, very early start for me today. There were a lot of questions and I obviously wasn't able to get to all of them, but hopefully I answered yours today. I hope you had a lovely week. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next week. Bye.